Hi everyone, this is JP here with Brizzy and in this walkthrough video for Brizzy Cloud, we're going to have a look at what is where. I'm not going to show you how to build a page or to build a pop-up, but we're just going to have a quick bird's eye overview of what you can find where. This video is particularly useful for people who are entirely new and don't know their way around Brizzy Cloud yet. Make sure that you go to brizzy.cloud to sign in click on account login and once it takes you within the dashboard make sure that it's actually your account if nothing appears here don't assume it's your site go up here to the profile area and make sure you see your email and then you will know you have logged in there are three parts to Brizzy Cloud there's this area which we can call the dashboard or project manager and then the second one is the site builder. That's where you're going to build your site with the Brizzy Builder. And the third one is where you can build external pop-ups. Let's talk about those websites and pop-ups that you can build. All of that is generated over here, which is your project area. And of course, there are two kinds of projects, websites and pop-ups. They appear over here and simply click on create new project and you choose between a website and landing page or a pop-up and alert as you create them they will appear here in the project area and from here you can edit them you can view them and you can also assign domains for them you have a choice for a subdomain custom domain for which you will have to upgrade to pro you also can server sync and export to HTML Everything that I touch on in this video, we have full tutorials for. So make sure you subscribe to YouTube to stay up to date. So this is your project area. Related to the project area is the filter area up here. If you have many, many projects, you will really appreciate this filter. Firstly, you can view only websites or pop-ups or projects over here. If you know the name of the project and you cannot find it, simply type it here within search projects. On the right, you can also sort them, most recent alphabetical and date created. If you have upgraded to Brizzy Pro, you also have the option for sub accounts. The account manager is up here where you see my personal projects. If you click on the drop down, you will see that you can create a new account, but for that you need Brizzy Pro. Now, what is the sub account all about? It's almost like a client manager. Imagine you have one client for which you do a lot of pages and you want to group that into one account. That's what you're going to do here. By switching between the accounts, you will have different projects appear here as you have created them. Connected to this is the team members area over here. For each project, you can assign different team members. That makes it really useful if you have clients that you only want to have access to their projects. So for each client, you create a different sub account with different team members. These are the five areas in the dashboard, your profile area, your project area, your filter area, sub accounts for client management, and the team members that are assigned to these sub accounts. Let's look at the other two parts then, which is the website builder, the Brizzy builder, as well as the builder for external pop-ups. Let's start first with the website builder and let's create a new project. Choose website and landing page and create. By default, it's going to say project with a number and this is my fourth project related to website building. To begin editing, click on edit project and it takes you to the builder. This is more than just a builder. It also includes some site building components. But let's first look at the page builder element here, which is the Brizzy builder. To begin building, click here in the middle, and then you have access to a blank block or pre-made blocks. Some of these blocks have this little pro label there in the top right-hand corner. And of course, you can understand that means you can only use this in Brizzy Cloud Pro. You also have access to save blocks and the global blocks area. If you have Brizzy Cloud Pro, you have access to these pre-made templates. These are fully designed websites that you can use to create a full website from beginning to the end. They provide you with a variety of areas to bring in these pre-designed sites. For example, food, I can choose this one and it has all these various pages 
that you can import directly to your site. However, only in Brizzy Cloud Pro. This is the Builder Block Manager then. To build out the page, you bring in a block and then you have your elements over here. Under that, you have an area to reorder blocks in case you have more than one block. And then under that, control over the styling, as well as the color theme and topography settings. To ensure that your site is responsive, here at the bottom you can move between desktop, tablet, and mobile. And this is everything connected to the Brizzy page builder. Let's look at the site settings and that you find over here on the left in the sidebar. Click on settings. Here you can create more pages. Currently we have a home page and if you need more pages, simply click add new page, edit it over here. And assign some SEO metadata for the description. You click over here to save it and you can also delete pages that you don't use. When you've created these pages, you assign them to a menu over here, but remember to create the menu first. Then site settings, you have here for a title description as well as a site icon and separate settings if you want to share this on social media. Think Facebook. For coders out there, you have areas for custom CSS, code injection, as well as an area to add redirect rules. Let's go back to assets and you will see you can also create pop-ups, but that's only within the Brizzy Cloud Pro version. Now the pop-ups within the website builder is different than the external pop-ups. The pop-ups that you can build within Brizzy Cloud is strictly for Brizzy Cloud Pro, but external pop-ups apply to both. To build then on-click pop-ups or native pop-ups with triggers and conditions, get Brizzy Pro. And that's it. Now you have a good idea of the builder, what is where, and for tutorials on how to build out sites, look here in our YouTube playlist. Also subscribe to YouTube and make sure you have access to those new videos as they come out. Let's publish this page and then we exit to the dashboard. The third part then is the external pop-up builder. Let's create a new project and this time we click on pop-up and alert. It will create a new pop-up with a default name of pop-up and another number. Let's edit the pop-up again and at the beginning you will think this looks very much like the page builder. And in many regards it is except that you are building a pop-up. So you will see when I say start building your pop-up, we have different blocks here. These are pre-designed pop-ups only available in Brizzy Cloud Pro. You can still build a pop-up in the external pop-up builder, but you'll have to do it by yourself. Add a blank pop-up here, bring in some elements again to build it out, and go to the settings and set your display conditions over here. Once you are done, again publish it, and you'll go to the front end of your dashboard to grab your embed code, which you will embed within the site you are linking to this external pop-up. We have videos on this, so don't worry if the code scares you. And that's it. That is the overview and walkthrough of the Brizzy Cloud Dashboard Website Builder, aka the Brizzy Builder, as well as the external pop-up builder. We call this the Brizzy way, and the Brizzy way is by keeping things simple and easy and friendly. We hope you enjoy this platform, and if you haven't tried it yet, sign up for a free account and give Brizzy Cloud today a spin. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials on all these features that I've touched upon in this walkthrough video. See you in the upcoming tutorials.